As the lyrics in the song say, deliver the letter, the sooner the better. For many of us, when the post arrives, it normally means a bill has arrived for us to pay. However, at this time of year, it can also contain exciting and welcome news. Perhaps we may receive a Christmas card or a letter from a long lost friend, taking advantage of the time of year to wish us well, have a catch up and tell us all their news. Perhaps we may be waiting for parcels to arrive, gifts and other pleasant things that brighten our day. Yes, our postie is truly trusted and definitely our friend. He's out in all weathers delivering things to us. They're providing a good service and they're valuable members of our communities. In days gone by, we used to tip our posties at Christmas as well as our dustmen. We would leave a little something in an envelope for them to show our appreciation for their service. It wasn't a bribe, as some might think and say. It was a way of saying thank you for all you do. Even if we couldn't afford to do this, the posties and the dusties would still do their job anyway. They had pride in their work. Now we find the posties have gone on strike. They want more money. Yes, we understand that just like the workers in the NHS and many other professions and jobs. The cost of living has risen and your wages haven't. We can understand how you feel and we can appreciate your right to protest and your right to strike. However, all actions have consequences. When you're striking and demonstrating, are you doing it in the right way? Are you obeying the laws of the universe and doing no harm to anyone or anything? Are you gaining help and support? Or are you making people doubtful of your cause? It seems the post office or Royal Mail are going on strike when we need them the most, when we depend on them the most. Some might say that's the best time to do a strike because it causes maximum disruption and gets us noticed. Well, that may be true, but it's getting you noticed for all the wrong reasons and you're not gaining friends or support in this way. You dropped off a card saying, we left a little something, but you weren't in. Well, that's an exaggeration of the truth in many cases, isn't it? We were in and we were waiting for you, but you didn't ring the bell. You took a card out of your pocket, already filled out with our details on it. You didn't have our package in your hands. You didn't ring the doorbell. You just posted the card through the letterbox without even ringing. You were spotted. We saw you do it. Why? You did the same to Mrs. Jones down the road too. Her little boy's not well and she stayed home all day waiting for you to deliver a nice surprise for him to cheer him up and lift his spirits. Now she has to drive to go and collect it. She can't because she can't leave her little boy and she needs to rearrange a delivery. The only times you've given are not convenient for her. It's another week of waiting for her little boy. She'll have to find a friend or a neighbour to help her and see if they can go and collect it for her. She'll have to give them permission to do this. She'll need a form of ID and they will and they'll need to find somewhere to park, which isn't easy to do, especially if there's a long queue in line waiting, etc, etc. Do you see now how your actions have had a negative effect on people, on lots of people? Many people shop online these days, and it's not just for gifts. Many times it's for items that they really need, that are important to them for a multitude of reasons, especially if they're elderly or infirm. Please don't desert us at this time of year when we need you the most. You're a worker, just like us. You're one of us. Work with us, not against us.